five years. Um, these folks have a lot to give in their career. <laughs> We're going to see a lot of these folks for a long time, right? The first of which is Ed Bennett. Um, the bullet points on the slide don't do it justice, but many of you know him for his infamous uh, quintessential founding path with blog um, around the social media network. Um, I don't think, like I said, there's probably one of us in this room that didn't use that list to justify an MPD or two in the last few years, right? Um, but he has a depth of knowledge and information to share with all of us through his 20 years. Um, he's done everything from leading the industry first, with being the first hospital to use paid <coughs> search to track visitors, the first hospital to connect medical staff and site visitors with an Ask the Expert tool, which is still innovative today, of us are striving to do that now. Um, and also the early champion. He knows his way in and out of a CMS tool like nobody's business. And um, today we honor him with the individual award Hall of Fame. Welcome back. She encouraged me to quit my very stable job I've been at for 15 years, told me to become a consultant, and figure out if you can actually make a living doing this website. She believed in me and supported me every step of the way. I'm standing here today because of her. I'm also grateful to the leadership at my hospital, the University of Maryland Medical System. They hired me in 1999 with one goal, to make their web presence a strategic asset to serve our community, our staff, and our patients. They hired me with no college degree and no health care experience. They weren't even bothered when I said that in the first year, I was going to try 10 different things, and I would fail miserably in my own. A promise that I kept. I wanted that job because I saw the huge potential for the web in healthcare. 12 years later, I still see huge potential for the web and healthcare. We've done a lot of great things, but there's so much more to do. I'd like to close with my favorite quote from Charles Darwin, one that I think applies to our industry and to the people in this room. It is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent that survives. It's the one that is most adaptable to change. Thank you. Uh, my name is Ed Bennett. I'm the Director of Web and Communications Technology at the University of Maryland Medical System. And I've been doing web stuff since 1993, and I've been working in the healthcare field since 1999. Um, I guess my, I'm best known for my work around social media, and the list that I built about four years ago started tracking all the different hospital websites and all the different social media sites that they have. But I've also been involved with web governance and all the bits and pieces of managing a, a, uh, a corporate website. Um, and it's been a very rewarding career to be able to pull all these things together, make them work, 
and to work in the healthcare industry. And really, kind of a, from a personal standpoint, what does this award mean to you? Well, this award is, is, uh, means a lot to me. It's the recognition from your peers. And uh, I'm, I'm really humbled and overwhelmed that I was selected. Uh, in fact, when they called me, I thought they wanted me to be a judge. And when they told me that I won the award, I was co completely unexpected. So uh, it means a lot. It means that uh, uh, I've had some impact on what people have, are doing and are attempting to do with the web. And it feels good to, to have that recognition. Perfect.